know, a lot of times we want to be blessed, but in order to be blessed, you have to think blessed. You got to move blessed. You, you have to do blessed. A lot of times what we doing is we moving with a scarcity mindset and we thinking and behaving with a scarcity mindset, but yet saying we want abundance. You can't have abundance if you moving and thinking scarcely. I'll give you an example. I was just in the, I was sitting down to eat and 20% tip would have came to like $5. And the change they brought me because they doing cash only, only was $3 and some change. So instead of just leaving her the $3 and some change, which would have been, you know, more than 10%, because I think the meal was $27, I just took a $10 bill out my pocket and put down that 10. Now, that's a big tip for a $27 bill, but I have to say to myself, okay, is this $10 gonna bless her more than it's gonna hurt me? And yes, that's more than 30% of a tip, but I have to think big in order to be big. So I gotta think blessed in order to be blessed. I have to make room in order to receive. So if I can't let go of a 30% tip, then how I'm gonna receive a 100 fold return? How am I gonna receive another 30 percent to be able to tip later so if i could tip 30 in return i'm gonna receive a hundred percent and that's what we have to realize is we have to change our thinking if we want to change our reality because when you move scarcely like that what you're doing is you shrinking your brain you telling your brain this is all i need to see right here this is all i could do right here it's twenty-seven dollar. I actually ain't got no tip. I just gave them my last twenty-seven dollar. Shouldn't have went out to eat then if you can't afford a tip, at least fifteen percent. But today they they expect an eighteen to twenty percent. A lot of us can't do eighteen percent, so we got to pull out the calculator. So twenty percent. And what I what I do is I tip thirty percent. If I can't tip thirty percent, I can't I can't afford to eat there. And the reason why I do that is to stretch my mind is to stretch my mind because you got to realize I earned seven figures today but I used to make $20,000 a year as a grown man husband and father I was at $20,000 a year as a grown musky man so in order to go from $20,000 to $100,000 you five times in your income so if you at 50,000 and you want to get the 100,000 that's still doubling your income. If you want to get the half a million, that's 10x in your income from 50,000. In order to do something that big, you have to have unconventional methods and you're going to have to stretch your mind because you cannot see a big vision if you have small thinking. If you have scarcity thinking, you cannot step into an abundant lifestyle. And that's what we have to realize and understand. Your thinking has to match the lifestyle that you want to have. And I want to give you a real life example. I ain't bragging to you now. A lot of times people who insecure or unhappy in their life think an example or a testimony is bragging. That's another thing. When you get offended by somebody else blessings or somebody else's ability or somebody else's affordability somebody else's promotion advancement growth stretch change when when you get offended by those things that is a sign that you have low level thinking and you hurting yourself and you're going to stay where you are and you will not go to the next level as long as you are thinking on that level to where you are jealous instead of inspired or you offended instead of uplifted. This is what we have to realize. In 2023, we have to change our thinking in order to win. 
Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. God bless you. We'll talk soon.